We begin tonight with a look at the damage in the Chicagoland area. The same storm system that swept through our area last night destroyed homes in Naperville, Woodridge and Darien. Late this afternoon, we learned an EF3 tornado touched down in Naperville. At least six people hurt there. One of them critically dozens of properties are damaged. At least one home blown off of its foundation. The tornado moved east from Naperville to Woodridge, Illinois. The police chief there describes their response. Oftentimes the officers weren't able to respond in their vehicles, their patrol vehicles, so they had to get out and respond on foot. Sometimes they had to run to those calls uh, and there was several instances where officers ran to, the, to those locations and then had to find their car back in the debris. Uh, it was difficult, but they, they handled the situation tremendously. 13 News reporter Mary Sugden spent all day in the Chicago suburbs where people are cleaning up. She gives us a closer look at the widespread damage there tonight. James, I'm reporting from the village of Woodridge, one of the hardest hit areas by this tornado. As you can see behind me, some of this devastation, this house with parts of the roof, an entire wall that was ripped off in this storm. And it's not the only house in this area with this type of severe damage. At this point, 16 homes deemed uninhabitable. And as of 5 a.m., there were a total of 125 reports of property damage within the tornado area. Now, the village's police chief says the timing of the storm coming at night made it especially dangerous. It was a nighttime event. Uh, a lot of people were sleeping, didn't, weren't aware of what was going on. Um, the early warning uh, got people into shelter. Um, and the fact that there was only three people injured and the amount of devastation that's in the community uh, is just amazing. And I, I think it speaks well The people take that serious and they took shelter when they needed to. And as you can hear, it's quite loud out here. Hammers going, chainsaws to remove debris, all types of contractors and volunteers who have poured into this area to help residents. One of those companies coming all the way from Rockford to help residents here get their homes safe and secure. You'll hear from them coming up tonight on 13 News at 6. Reporting for your weather authority, I'm Mary Sugden for 13 News. James, back to you in the studio. And Mary, the Woodridge Police Chief said there the overnight storm took many people by surprise. Phil Rogers spoke to some people still cleaning up after that tornado. The tornado came roaring through Woodridge at about 1115 last night and everyone agreed it happened very fast. You saw the flash and then you heard the roar coming and then it then the wind picked up and it hailed. It hailed sideways from high winds. All of a sudden, we were in the bathroom downstairs in the basement and we started hearing the wind blowing, you know, 50, 60 miles an hour, it sounded like. I don't know if I really heard it, but like I felt it like it was kind of like the wind was swishing around me. The sirens did blow. Everyone agreed that happened and everyone we spoke to heard those sirens. It is good news. The warning did, I mean, I heard it. Um, it just happened very quickly after the warning. Seeing the devastation now, the houses ripped to shreds, the street signs twisted like pretzels, it makes all of the survival stories seem even more frightening and remarkable. Like a bomb went off, our windows blew out in our dining room, and you could just feel the whole house shaking. That's it Joe was, Reeder. Was, he and his wife rode out the storm in a ground floor laundry room of this house, holding their one-year-old daughter. Believe it or not, she slept through the 30 seconds of the tornado in my arms. I sent her the ABCs. In the tornado that passed through our area as a severe thunderstorm, here are some of the viewer photos that you sent us last night. They were shared in the 13 Weather Authority photo community page. It's a group on Facebook. Feel free to join. And if you have storm photos like these, we'd love to see them. Just join that photo community on Facebook and then chime in. And yesterday's confirmed tornado officially given an EF3 rating about an hour ago based on the damage seen. Claudia is here to tell us about that higher rating tonight in the Chicago suburbs. Claudia. James, the National Weather Service did officially give that rating of an EF3 on the Fujita scale, which is which the highest rating on that scale is an EF5 tornado. The damage surveyed with this tornado has been consistent primarily with EF1 and EF2 ratings. However, there has been a pocket of damage seen in Naperville that has been consistent with the EF3 ratings. Now for a tornado to be rated an EF3 tornado, it does have to include peak winds speeds of about 140 miles an hour. Now this same storm has brought our area lots of rainfall, but the damage was very widespread from stretching from a village in Samanac all the way through the west and northwest suburbs into Chicago itself, even into portions of northern Indiana. Now this storm did not organize itself or have any organized rotation until it got closer to the Chicagoland area. Now this is due to the proximity to a mesoscale low 
low pressure once it entered the DuPage County and this caused surface winds to back or turn counterclockwise with height and when this happens it increases that tornado threat especially with the amounts of moisture that were present yesterday which resulted in that favorable environment. Now thankfully our area saw mostly rain and plenty of lightning and we do have some more rain chances to talk about later James.